Hi, it is Marie and I am back again today with another video. I don't know about any of you, but I grew up in a rather protective, sanitized environment and as I've gotten older and especially as I've gotten into college, I've been trying to live more dangerously. Um, I grew up um, out of a fear for my safety, um, again, rather protected. Um, and most of that came from my mom. You know, for instance, if we were at a park and there was a jungle gym and, you know, all the other kids were playing on the jungle gym, my friends, my siblings and everyone, um, she would go, you know, I don't think that's for you. Um, I don't think you can do that. Uh, let's just find something else. Um, and, and so that really stuck with me all my life. Um, well, I guess not all my life, but all my childhood, um, because I started to police what I was doing. Um, you know, if we went to a park and there was something dangerous, I was like, well, guys, I can't do that. Or, I don't know, if there was any activity that I thought I couldn't do, I would go, whoa, I, I can't do this, I gotta bow out. Um, but... As I've gotten older and I've, I've started to push myself out of my comfort zone and be like, no, you're going to do that, I found that there are a lot of things um, that, I, that I can do, uh, but I was told I couldn't. And um, even, when I, even when I was young and I started to push myself out, I, I, I found this to be the case. And I think... Uh, that, that's why I always say, you know, you can't say you can't do something unless you try it. Um, you want to put in the effort and the attempt to at least try. Um, so I've been trying to live more dangerously. Um, and, and even, I guess, summer of 2015, I was painting a house and I had the opportunity to, to go up on the roof and I was like my mom would hate this right now she would tell me you can't go up there uh, you can't do this um, but I indeed went up on the roof and uh, to tell the truth it was a bit scary like I, I knew the I knew the danger involved um, but I had other people around me and I was like hey you know, I can say that I've done this, and I felt accomplished um, with going, going up on the roof. Um, but, I mean, this is, I, I have to issue a warning here, um, because you should, you should be within your limits. You know, you have to assess the situation, and maybe going up on the roof was a stupid, stupid idea, but hey, I did it. Um, <clears throat> But I think you always have to be cautious of your surroundings and, and keep it realistic because if you don't, um, trying to do something dangerous could turn into a very dangerous situation. Um, all, but all I'm saying is give, give yourself a pass and just, just do something you wouldn't see yourself doing um, but within good measure. Um, I've, I've been trying to do this throughout college, um, you know, one, be more independent and just kind of say, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to go canoeing with my friends. Um, I'm going to go climb up this cliff. I'm, I'm going to do whatever and it's going to be good because it's, you know, it's gonna make me feel accomplished because I did accomplish something um, and after I think I've I've finished more things that I thought I couldn't do I've, I've begun to to be like oh yeah I'm fearful of that in the beginning but I've I've built my my little portfolio of things I've done and I, I feel more confident in myself and I realized that things aren't as hard as I thought they were. And um, then I can go at the next activity with a bit more confidence. Um, so, I don't know. And I, I, I want to get your guys' thoughts on this. 
um, because I know that everyone's at, at different places in life and uh, yeah, uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, any thoughts on the video, any suggestions, go ahead and uh, comment down below. Otherwise, I'm going to say goodbye for the day. Um, and so I will say goodbye. And I will see you in the next video.